Hey, Don Smith here, day seven, 40 days of transformation. Thanks for uh, being part of this journey with me. Oh, today was a battle. Something happened right before I went to bed last night, and I didn't, I didn't really process it. I was just like, oh, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. So I, when I woke up this morning, I woke up with this feeling of dread. Uh, have you ever woken up with just like, oh man, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to have to do what I have to do today. And, uh, and all of this dread, I mean, like I had good things to do. I had to teach in Jay, I had to teach in Lewiston, you know, I had things to take care of. And it was just like, it's like, it wasn't a bad day. I didn't, there wasn't anything scheduled that was like terrible, but I still woke up with this feeling of dread. So right from the moment I awoke, the battle was engaged. And that's the thing, right? That we're in this battle and that we have to fight it every minute of the day, all day long. And, you know, Paul says, taking captive every thought. Do you know how many thoughts you have a day? Do you know how many thoughts I have a day? It's like, it's, a, it's like this constant battle. And so I did really good. <clears throat> I did really good with the battle this morning. I, I, I was very rational. It's like, okay, this is a feeling, and I have a feeling, I have a feeling because I didn't process stuff last night that I probably should have, and it's like, okay, there's nothing to dread today, and so I went through the process. God's going to be with me today, he's going to take care of me today, and then, uh, like like I, I did uh, my morning stuff in this afternoon, at some point, uh, Hollis and I had this like little miscommunication. It wasn't a big thing, it didn't, wasn't important, or it wasn't an argument, but it was just this like miscommunication that just you know, like push one of those buttons. You know how we all have buttons? Push one of those buttons. And immediately I had a feeling of like, um, well, it's interesting because the feeling was despair. The feeling was like, I'm not going to get, I'm never going to get what I want. It was an interesting, interesting um, feeling. And I had to explore it. And, and it took us some time. Because uh, whenever my buttons get pushed, her buttons get pushed, right? So it took us some time to work through it. And, but we did. And so it was, and, and again, it was a stopping and saying, okay, what's the truth? What's the truth in this situation? What's, what's really going on with me? What am I feeling? Uh, my, my, the tape that is playing in my head wants to take me in a certain direction. But that's not necessarily true, right? I, don't, I, can't, I can't assume her motivations. I can't assume... You know, like, I, like, you know, I don't want to add it to my pile of, you know, all the lies that I have believed all my life. And so, uh, so I did really, really good today, but man, was it a battle. <sighs> um, and so that's where we're at, right? We just have to keep fighting this this idea of changing the way that we think you got to think of it like almost like a railroad track right like i have this track that i'm in it's like it's literally in our brains hardwired right we've made synapses we've made neurons that have you know like like they know what to do as soon as they're triggered and it's like no no, no like i'm i'm not going down this track anymore right i'm going to make a new track that goes in a different direction and making a new track is a lot of work. So don't get discouraged. Uh, you're probably, uh, you know, as you're becoming aware of negative thoughts and become started becoming aware of the, the lies that you believe in, which we'll talk a lot about in our next class. Um, don't be discouraged. It's all part of the process. Hey, thanks for uh, being with me. Talk to you tomorrow.